the genuine article. Discussion and commentary based on articles from Jack. Hello, I'm Tony DeMaria, the editor of Jack, here with Inside Jack, and I'm talking to Dr. Aslan uh, Tura. And Dr. Tura is assistant professor of medicine at the University of Texas Southwestern. And he's authored a, an interesting article about to appear in Jack that deals with the specificity, really, of these very new high sensitivity troponin assays. And in this study, they conducted a, what I think is really a clever protocol. And they aim to answer the question as to whether or not one could detect levels uh, of, of troponin by these high sensitivity assays, even in the absence of infarction or presumably cell death. And the model they used was rapid atrial pacing uh, to ischemia that they verified by coronary sinus lactate production. And interestingly, found that in fact, with just with pacing, uh, one could detect levels, increased levels of, of troponin by the high sensitivity assay in the absence uh, of myonecrosis, and in fact, even in patients without coronary disease. So, doc, Dr. Tour, uh, tell me. Uh, in the past, we've accepted troponin as evidence of cell death. Uh, does your study really refute that? Well, I, th I think it represents a, a set of no novel findings that probably tie together some of the other information we had from, for example, marathon runners, where uh, patient, uh, participants, uh, L otherwise healthy people who would um, participate in vigorous activity would be found to have elevated troponin levels and it was always very puzzling and the presumption to this point had always been they had small amounts of myonecrosis. So I think in, in answer to your question, yes, I think this is a little bit of a, a p p potentially a paradigm shift that maybe these um, sm very small levels of troponin are not necessarily indicators of myocardial infarction per se, but uh, maybe just indicators of myocardial ischemia instead, and instead of a threshold effect of, of, um, of, uh, of uh, infarction, we should be thinking of uh, tr troponin release potentially on a, on a uh, scale from ischemia to infarction uh, and, uh, rather than a threshold effect. Well, so, but I have a question about that because even in patients without coronary disease and in whom lactate production was not verified as, as, as indicative of ischemia, you still detected elevated levels of, of troponin. So is even ischemia required? Well, you know, that, that's a good, good question. Um, it, it may be that this is uh, sort of a very small level of uh, ischemia that we were unable to detect by small shifts in lactate, or uh, maybe this is just an indicator of uh, even a normal amount of cardiac work that a person undergoes during the course of a normal day or running for, for a bus. Uh, that we would uh, see small levels of troponin elevation that may be, in fact, normal. So uh, I guess uh, as a bottom line, based upon your findings, how are you using these high sensitivity troponin assays now? Or are you requiring a greater degree of elevation before you're suspicious of disease? Well, in truth, we haven't been utilizing these assays clinically here, uh, but I think it does um, caution us that we have to be very careful in in interpreting um, the the meaning of very small levels of troponin uh, in the serum in, in patients who come in with chest pain. It's it's uh, I don't think it's possible to just depend on a low level troponin uh, or even a serial change in troponin measurements, uh, particularly if those troponins are uh, underneath our uh, below our threshold for um, for these assays in terms of the the upper limit of normal. Um, to, to automatically assume that somebody has a cardiac reason for their chest discomfort. I think f further research is going to have to be done in terms of looking at um, relative and uh, absolute changes in troponin over serial measurements before these, uh, these can be safely um, 
uh, adopted to, to all patients in all situations? Well, there's no question that we've had a number of patients admitted to our institution with elevated uh, levels of troponin by high sensitivity assays who proved to be uh, absolutely normal. So the enhanced technical ability of these assays actually may be causing a bit of a, of a clinical dilemma. Your data will help us sort this out. Thanks very much for being with us. For Inside Jack, I'm Tony DeMaria.